the second heavyweight semifinal. Number one seed, Bruno Capeloza. The four seed is Jamel Jones, who had one opportunity to make the playoffs. He needed a first round finish. He got it done, and here he is looking to shock the world. All right, let's get our next fight to the cage. Please welcome first, Jamel Jones. There is the wrestler, Jamel Jones. His excellent takedowns, heavy ground and pound. You see right there, that's Ian Parker's underdog pick to win. And a lot of people believe that he could get it done himself in the first round as well. He's been extremely confident. He's been looking forward to this fight against Capeloza. He respects Bruno, but does not respect him enough to let him win. He wants to go out there and impress. And his opponent, Bruno Capeloza. Brazilian Bruno Capeloza that's come up from 205 told us right away, no way these heavyweights can deal with my speed. And he has lived up to that. He's had 12 knockouts in his career. Eight of those came in the first round. I have not seen a guy this explosive out of the cannon, out of the gate, since young Vitor Belfort hit the scene. Strategy is going to be very important in this fight because during the fighter meetings, Bruno told us, I've got what it takes to beat a wrestler. Jamel Jones told us, I think I can stand with Bruno Capeloza. I'll use my wrestling if I have to. The problem is with Bruno, Randy, you don't need to, you don't know you need to use your wrestling <laughs> until it's too, too late. late. Right. There's Bruno's family anxiously awaiting the touch of the gloves. Tale of the Tape brought to you by Presidente Jamel Jones, one year older. Bruno Capeloza, two inches taller. 15 pounds for Jamel Jones, four inches in the arms for Bruno Capeloza. And the legs are the exact same length. Advantages back and forth in this Tale of the Tape. And with that, Lillian Garcia gets us going. In the PFL, every fight counts. And we continue now in the semifinals in the heavyweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is a boxer. Standing at six feet tall, he weighs in officially 250 and three quarter pounds. In 17 professional fights, he has a record of 11 wins and six losses with nine victories by way of stoppage. Fighting out of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, here is your number four seed, Jamel the Beast Jones. His opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He is a Muay Thai specialist. Standing at 6'2", he officially weighs in at 235 and one half pounds. In 17 professional fights, he has a record of 12 wins and five losses, with all 12 victories coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, here is your number one seed, Bruno Capeluza! Your referee in charge, Keith Peterson. Keith Peterson equipped with our ref cam. Do not blink, Bruno Capeloza in the blue trunks. Jamel Jones in the black and gray. One seed out of Brazil, four Show seed out of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Fight. Trip to the heavyweight championship on the line. Jones in the southpaw stance. Capeloza takes the center of the smart cage. And immediately Jones initiates a graphic exchange, grabs hold of Bruno Capeloza. Oh. The first knee goes awry. Cup check is resolved. Back to action. 
Leg kick there from Bruno Capeloza. Swings things around for Jamel Jones. Wild left hand attempted by Jones. And this is where Jamel needs to be careful. You know what he wants to do. Kick his body. Yep, let's go. There we go. Faint, faint. Don't risk it all. This is where Jamel needs to be careful, just backing up, getting too close to the cage. That's where Kepeloza unleashes some berserker barrages. I understand Jamel Jones' desire to catch kicks, Randy, but it's dangerous to reach both hands down and try and snag something when someone's got hand speed like Bruno Capeloza. Agreed, and I think these low leg kicks are very tactically smart for Capeloza. Wear out those lead leg, make it a little more difficult for that level change and penetration for any takedowns to take place oh. as this fight grows on. Nasty, stiff right hand there for Bruno Capeloza. Jones says, yeah, give me another one. He shot back a kiss there at Capeloza. That time he caught the kick. Capeloza is able to shrug it off again. He felt like the knee was a little bit low. Nice job scrambling and staying out of the takedown by Capelotza. Jamel Jones in that danger zone, backing himself up to the cage, allowing himself to get walked down by Bruno Capelotza. That's been a mistake for the first two opponents of Capelotza's regular season. Well, anytime you're square and up against the cage, you're exposing that center line. That's what Capelotza has done two fights in a row. And it looks like Jones is having trouble putting weight on that lead leg already. He's having some traction problems. Yeah, yeah that leg is compromised. Well, oh, that didn't take long. Oof. Once again, Jamel Jones, oh, hesitant even to stand up after that off balance. Yeah, the speed of Capeloza is just something to behold live. Just so that quick. Straight right weight. hand is going to come right down the pipe. Capeloza doing a nice job of hunting him down, taking him to the edge of the cage, eliminating his routes of escape. Capeloza looking very comfortable, just landed a nice jab on the right eye of Jamel Jones, who so far does not have an answer for the speed of the Brazilian. There's a left hand from Jamel Jones that makes Capeloza rethink an entry. I think we're seeing some great patience here from Capeloza as well. Body kick attempt there from Jamel Jones. Who appears to be settling into his own groove. Slaps a kick off the lead thigh of Bruno Capeloza. Jones moving a little bit better now. Oh. Capeloza slips on the front kick attempt. Tried to bring one right up the middle. Jones pawing at that jab. Capeloza pumping it out. Gauging distance. One minute remains here in round number one as the ghost cam gives you a look through the chain link of our PFL smart cage. Yeah, Jamel's got to be really careful with those kicks going down the middle. I don't like how he's trying to block those kicks. That high kick attempt from Jones came up quick. Inside leg kick from Capeloza came back with equal speed. Interesting style matchup in the southpaw, Jones. It makes it much more difficult facing an orthodox fighter when you're leading the other leg to hit a double leg from, from that open stance. If he wants to take down, he's going to have to get creative to create that and get his head in the right position to take Capeloza down. But we haven't even seen an attempt yet. Right hand found the chin of Jamel Jones there. He smiles again. 10-second clapper. He sends back a left hand. It's blocked. Inside leg kick again from Capeloza and a hook to follow. And round two next.
Kenny, explain this key combo presented by Light Boxer. Well, he just smashes the inside of the knee of Jamel Jones and lands a beautiful left hook up and around the guard of Jamel Jones. And the story of this fight really has been those inside leg kicks, which has just destroyed the lead leg of Jamel Jones. Second of a possible three rounds in this heavyweight semifinal. Jamel Jones in the black and gray out of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Bruno Capeloza in the blue trunks. FPR gives the advantage to Bruno Capeloza. That left hand is bouncing off the guard of Bruno Capeloza for Jamel Jones. He's got to string something together with it as Capeloza continues to stalk and figure out the wrestler's timing. Jones is still dangerous. He, he wants Capeloza to come in. He wants to catch him with that shot. But Capeloza being very patient, and he's fainting his way in, and he's seeing those shots from Jones coming. Left hook straight right from Capeloza. Jab lands. That one misses, and Jones explodes forward with a takedown attempt. Good sprawl by Capeloza, who steps out of it. Nice job by Jones to keep his feet moving all the way to the barrier. An even better job by Capelosa to pull him up and slip out of it. Yeah, and Jones has switched his stance there for a second. Now eats a, eats a leg kick to the other side. Switches back, and uh, Capelosa is, is noticing that Jones really is not moving very well at all. The right hand is finding its home. That's a jab! Uh -oh. Bruno Capelosa pounding away on Jamel Jones, who turtles up against the cage. And the referee steps in to wave it off. It was a jab that put down Jamel Jones. Bruno Capeloza is championship bound. They are partying in Sao Paulo as Bruno Capeloza punches his ticket to the heavyweight championship final and a rematch with Ante Dillia. Amazing patience, biding his time, not being over aggressive, picking him apart, the leg kicks, damaging his mobility, and then finding that opportunity to land that big shot. <laughs> Cajunomic Stats Bundle presented by Geico. Accuracy and power from Bruno Capeloza. We'll make it official when we return. Let's look at the latest edition of the PFL Smart Cage. This is Kick Speed, another PFL exclusive. Nobody else has this because nobody else has a Smart Cage. 61 miles an hour powered by SMT. Are you kidding me? That's a record. Give him a speeding ticket, Officer O'Connell. <laughs> Ouch. Ow. Exclusive fighter performance rating brought to you by Rich Energy. Kenny Florian, what's the only way to score a perfect 100 in FPR? You gotta get a finish, Sean. How many times have I told you? Capeloza got one in round two. Lillian Garcia makes it official. Ladies and gentlemen, this stops officially at one minute and 33 seconds of round number two. Your winner by TKO and clinching a spot in the 2021 PFL World Championship, Bruno Capelloza!